It's unbelievable when you consider what we thought they were going to be, what they were last year. The changes Ben Charrington and Mike Hazen and, and, and ownership made to this team and where they are now. I've done the math yet again. Go ahead, Kirk Minifield. Yes. 98 wins. That's pretty good. They are projected 98 wins. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's the story of the year in baseball, I think, in a lot of ways. Them and the Pirates, now it's yeah. – people are finally – once the Patriots players stop getting arrested, which I think is going to happen, you know, as <laughs> long as we know where Tlaib is, it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, somebody do a wellness yeah, check on the keep an eye on him. Make sure it's, uh, the magazine's taken out make of his sure, revolver. Right, make sure he's all right. Now we turn our eyes to the Patriots and uh, to the Red Sox rather, and they win these games all the time. You know me; I'm not going to get into they wouldn't have won this game last year, but they just win. No matter what, they find ways to win. Stephen Wright yesterday, Nava again yesterday, Dempster terrible. You think all right, oh, fine, awful. you know whatever. They, they they lose this game, so what? You move on, and they win. They win. They win. They win. I've given up. I've given up trying to figure it out. They're they're going to go 98 and 64. This team is going to go 98 and 64. John Farrell about yesterday's win that saw them trailing, I think, five one and seven four, and mm-hmm. they come back to win it. And the remarkable thing is, it's somebody different every single day. Farrell. Well, we did, and, and probably as big a knock in there is the is the O2 base hit by by Holt off of Furbush, uh, who's extremely tough on lefties, uh, but somewhat of the the characteristic of this team. We've we've created a lot of opportunities for ourselves, and sometimes we come up short. Today was different. You know what it is? No, it's a bunch of things, but you know what it is? This is a baseball team that, for some reason, for some way, doesn't manage to beat itself. When you watch Sports Center highlights, when you watch the baseball show, when you watch anything to do with MLB, you see teams that outfielders run into each other and the ball drops. You see guys throwing to the wrong base. You say idiots, you see idiots running into outs. That doesn't generally happen with this Boston Red Sox team. That's true. It seems to be very fundamentally sound. Now, I don't know if that is a hundred percent. In the corner of John Farrell, I don't know if that's uh, because they're smarter than the average bear. It just seems to me that that they don't beat themselves. You have to beat them. Yeah, that's true. And they also score a million runs. Well, I mean, they just score a million runs. And again, you look at this lineup at the start of the year, and you think, well, okay, you know, Ellsbury, maybe he'll be back. You know, Pedroia will be okay. Where's Ortiz? We don't know if he's going to play at all. Napoli, eh. And they score, you know, eight more runs yesterday in Seattle, not an easy park to hit. Uh, you know, we get guys like you know, Carp and uh, and Holt and yes, these guys. Yes. Iglesias, I think, had two more hits yesterday, right? Yep. Two RBI yesterday. And they just score a ton of runs. After going 16 innings without a run from the eighth inning Saturday through the first game of the series in Seattle, the Red Sox have averaged 10 runs per game in their last three wins. So that makes it a little bit easier to win. And, and here's the projection. As I said, they're playing 6 uh, 6 baseball, which projects to 98 wins. Now, think about this. We're, we're looking at the All-Star breaking coming up, and you're thinking, well, that's the halfway point of the season. You know when the All-Star game is played? The Red Sox will have played 97 games Wow, with 65 left. So it's really like kind of two-thirds of the way through the season for Pretty crying close, out loud. yeah. Pretty In any close. event, last year, do you recall the win total? Very easy to remember. For the Red Sox last year? Yes, win total for the Red Sox last year. It's got something to do with the Seattle picture yesterday, Furbush. I'm trying to remember. How many, how many, how many, I, know it's, I know it's juvenile Dino, but every time Orsillo said Furbush, I just laughed. <laughs> I'll be close. I just laughed. 69. 69. Yeah. 69 was yes. the win total last year. Right. Right now they have 57. Mm-hmm. So let's do the math. They are 12 wins away right. from tying last year's win total yes. and 13 from exceeding it. Right. They'll probably get there in early August, do you think? Well, uh, I think uh, Lumpy told me something interesting. They won their 57th game last year on August 12th. What is today? Oh, today is July 12th. And they won their 57th game one month sooner this year. Yeah, I mean, listen, we've said this every day. We've done this. I don't know how they're doing it. And I think part of it is because there's no really no other great teams as well, which helps them. But listen, like you said, not a lot of mistakes. Generally, they pitch well. They score a lot of runs, and their bullpen is solidified. For the most part, it's solidified. And I think the closer's fine right now. It looks like Bailey's going to be better in high leverage situations. This team is for real. For more, visit weei.com slash video.